Hey folks, Chris Gordon here in the studio with you. I thought I would post uh, the second half of the Abigail's Crossing intro. A couple weeks ago I posted this section of it. So this week I thought I'd show you the next section, which is this. And what that is, is an E minor arpeggio, B minor, B e diminished, G diminished, B minor. So I'll break this down a little bit for you. Starting on the high E string, I'm going to start this E minor arpeggio in a descending fashion. Uh, I start on the G note of the high E, which is the 15th fret, with a downstroke. I then go to the E on the E string, and I start with an up. And I'm also in position to start a roll with that index. I'm going to kind of roll it across the next couple of strings. So I've got it down on the G, up on the E, up on the B of the B string, and up on the G of the G string. And this is kind of rolling that index across those strings. And I'm using all ups there. Or I should just say one up because it's one motion. I'm not individual picking it. Okay, so we have that, and then um, so the index has done that roll there on those notes. I grab the E on the D string and actually have it ready to roll. That is that finger is going to roll a little bit as well. That's going to roll on the, the E of the D string and the B of the A string. That's a little roll going on. Still just all up. And then I'm going to go right to the E on the low E string, which might seem a little interesting or a little different because usually we hit that G in a, in a traditional E minor shape arpeggio like this. Um, but I'm going to, not going to do that, and I'll explain that in a second. Um, those are all ups. So down, up, 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 up. Now I'm going to hit that G on the, uh, the E string, the 15th fret of the E string here, with a down. And this is going to launch me into the ascending version of the arpeggio. So I've got, I'm down on the G, down on the B of the A string down on the D, uh, I'm sorry, the E of the D string, down on the G of the G string. Now again, that B in that uh, E note there, I'm rolling, again, I'm rolling in the other way as an ascending fashion. I'm rolling this way instead of the opposite. And then I'm gonna roll the index on the G of the G string, the uh, B of the B string, okay? So I have I have this now. Down, up, 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 down, 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 down. Okay, and the cool thing about this is when I get to that B, I'm on a downstroke. I can loop this just this one single arpeggio here by just grabbing the the G on the high E string with another downstroke, and that's right where I started in the first place. Okay, do that until the neighbors throw something through the window. Um, that is the uh, E minor arpeggio. And again, I'm keeping in that pattern of six. One, two, three, four, five, 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 six. We had that in the, the previous section. One, two, three, four, five, six. 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 Same principle. One of my favorite uh, note groupings. Okay, moving on to the next B minor, uh, and I'm going to play this again descending first. I start on the F sharp of the high E string, 
with a down. Then I go right to the D on the high E string, that's an up. And then I've got a B on the B string, which is another up. F sharp on the G string, another up. Uh, D on the D string, another up. B on the A string, another up. I'm going to pull off, so I'm not, I don't have any rolling going on in this particular shape, but I'm going to do a little legato. I'm going to pull off from the B to the F sharp. Then I'm going to bring that pinky down as I pick, which is a downstroke, which is going to start my ascending version of the arpeggio, down onto the D of the uh, D, uh, D string, down on the F sharp, down on the B, and down on the D. Three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so there we have. Okay, you can loop those around, have some fun with those. And then we'll move on to the two diminished patterns. Um, I call this one E diminished, even though it starts on the G note but all these notes are equal to each other, so it could be considered four different names, E diminished, G diminished, D flat diminished, or B, dimi B flat diminished, okay? But uh, I'm, I'm, I kind of think of it as E diminished at the moment only because I'm kind of in that 12th position, that E position. But I start on the G note with a downstroke. Up on the high E, up on the D flat, and up on the B flat. And then I turn it around, back to the B flat, I mean, sorry, the D flat, and then back to the E. One, two, three, four, five, six. Um, I know some guitar players that would play down, up, up, and then play that B flat with a down, to, uh, and then play down on the D flat, and then down on the E. Kind of getting to uh, the downstrokes a little earlier, which is very cool. I've just been more comfortable doing it with down, up, 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 and then down. Uh, Whatever's comfortable for you is the way to go. I then shift that exact same shape up to uh, a minor third. So now it's, I'm in, you know, the 15th position here. So I start on the B flat, to, and then to the G, then to the E, okay, and then to the D flat. So those are the two right in a row. Pretty familiar sound if you're uh, into Ingve. It's the Ingve arpeggio. Instant Ingve. Just add water, you know. Uh, so that's the uh, diminished pattern, and we conclude with the. Um, B minor arpeggio, which is an inversion of this one, and it has a lot of the same technical elements that I did in the previous one. Um, so down on the high B, up on the F sharp, up on the D, and I'm going to have that roll thing happening again, up on the B, um, on the G string, and up on the F sharp on the D string. I'm rolling that ring finger there. And in order to, to, and the reason for the roll actually is as I hit that B and I then go to the F sharp, I can't let that B ring out. So the roll takes the pressure off the string and gives me that instant mute. And then gives the, the F sharp room to sing. And then from there I go to the D on the A string, pulling off to the B like I did in the previous inversion pulling off to the B, okay, um, and then I'm going to pick, when I go back to that D with the pinky, I'm going to pick down, down on the F sharp, down on the B, forward roll, again, I hit that F sharp, roll it forward, it mutes out, gives me, gives that B room to, to sing, so we have, um, then I got my D on my B string, and then F sharp, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six. And then I just hit that high B to put a tail on it. So I get this. Okay? So here we have 
the whole thing kind of slow. And one more time at that tempo. And here we go at tempo. All right, so there's part two of the Abigail's Crossing intro. Stay tuned, I have a bonus for you. Um, some variations on some of those arpeggios that are real fun to play. Um, and of course, more to come on this intro, so stay tuned and see you soon.